Hey guys, and welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. And do you know what I think they should have in these games? I think they should have somewhere where you can quickly go off camera to collect some power-ups. Uh, I've been thinking about this for a while, because we get the toad houses and things where we can get like random power-ups and things for. But I think we should have a shop where we can go and spend some of these coins that we're collecting. What's the point in all this capital if there's nowhere to spend? Isn't that what capitalism's all about? Anyway, uh, let's go. Broken blue bully belt. This one can be quite a bastard, but playing as Peach does make it slightly easier. Because obviously she can do that little like floaty jump thing, which is unbelievably handy. Now, kind of didn't really want this raccoon suit. Whilst we're playing as Peach, we don't really need it. Whew. Because uh, that's basically just her ability in a nutshell. Right, okay, let's go. Uh, jump and float. Although, saying that, I think that... If I'm not mistaken, this raccoon suit doodad actually kind of like lasts longer, I think. Not 100% sure. Alright, so we can see that there's a star all the way over on the right, right at the end of the course there. Uh, do we want another raccoon suit? Yeah, well, yeah, I guess we do. Alright, that's fine. Now, this one is kind of an ass. Yeah, not my favourite level, gonna be honest, but that's okay, that's okay. Oof, that was sketch. Like ridiculous levels of sketch there. I wonder, yeah, we can, with Peach, we can just punt ourselves over. Right. Oof, God. That is so OP. Ooh, Jesus! All right, we threaded that needle. My God. Not quite sure how we threaded that needle, but whatever. You know what? Go on. We'll get another raccoon suit. Uh, whatever this power is, actually. Now, there's another star over there. That's the next one. And if you're thinking, gee, that looks like it's going to be quite a challenge to get to. Well, yes and no. It's probably quite difficult to do if you're not playing as Peach. That's fair to say. Oh, God. But Peach just makes this level... I was going to say easy, but then the brain kind of kicked in and decided that would probably be foolish to say such things whilst the camera's rolling. Or at least whilst the capture card is rolling, I should say. I'm doing my best to make... This level looked really, really hard. Come on, baby. There we go. Oof. No, that's fine. That's... Well, that's not fine. As I was saying, something about this game being unbelievably easy. In a very foolish manner. Come on, baby. Come on. Okay, that's keeping those guys dead which is pleasing me and on a basic internal level all right now can we jump to that next spinamajig possibly oh yeah oh yeah she's got the moves all right let's go let's go let's go Oof. that'll do donkey that'll do Oh, okay, now that stressful uh, business is over. Actually, I wonder if there's a hidden... Yes. Very nice. Really? Really? I mean, cool, I guess, but where's the goods, man? Where's the stuff? The stuff? Alright, well, whatever. So, I think the difference with... I was going to say, the difference with Peach and that power is that power actually lasts longer. And not only does it last longer, but with Peach, when her power runs out after a few seconds, she kind of just drops like a brick. Whereas... 
Whereas, uh, this Tanuki suit thing, kind of just after a while, you just drop to the ground slowly, which is rather nice, actually. I think this Tanuki thing, oh, shit, on a shovel would, yeah. <sighs> the Tanuki thing, um, oh, we actually got a checkpoint. Uh, is better than I gave it credit for. It's probably actually one of the more useful powers in the game. Especially for this kind of late game stuff. Motherfucker. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't matter. That still gives us full power up. Which is nice. We like full power ups. Better than those cheap half power ups. Oof. Alright, alright, alright. Cool, cool, cool. Wait for the... Wait for the... Those to go down, and those to go down. Jump, boing, boing, go, move, motherfucker. All right, and all was right with the world once again. Good lord! Now just a straight shot to the end. How hard could this possibly be? <laughs> oh, sweet summer child. All right, there we go. Oof. Oof. And with that, World Mushroom is over. Hopefully permanently this time. Until I inevitably decide to replay this game in a few years. Okay. So, with that done, we can now move on to World Flower. And let's just say things are about to get significantly harder. And by the way, this is my favorite level. Oh, my personal game, actually. I'm way further. I'm like all the way down here, which is nice. And I keep forgetting we can actually run around on this overworld faster. All right, let's have a look. What have we got? Switch Shock Circus. Oh, man. This is uh, actually quite a fun level. But they kind of screw you up straight away. <laughs> Before you go ahead, you need to go back to get the first star. Also, oh, hang on. We need to butt bounce. Yep, we fucked that up. But that's okay. This is why. I'm glad this, they give you this choice, like straight off the off the bat, to go straight into here. Luckily, if you restart, although you lose all your progress, you come in to the level in the same condition that you originally uh, started it with. So you have all your power ups and stuff. Yeah, that is actually uh, surprisingly difficult, but that's okay. We can handle a bit of difficulty. We've got to the stages where Mario stops being, you know, a game that keeps little Timmy quiet and starts to give a seasoned adult a bit of trouble. But Mario's always done that for me. Luckily, what I will say is this game isn't as hard as Mario Sunshine, which is probably... Damn it. The hardest Mario game that I've personally played. In fact, I think... Um, I think Mario Sunshine, as I've said before, I'm pretty sure that's the hardest one. It's super difficult. But... I actually really, really do like uh, Sunshine. I love the aesthetic. Everything about that game. It's just wonderful. Right, okay, so now we move on to our next green star, which is actually a green coin star, which is fine. We don't mind that, but you've got to be a little bit careful here because you can easily fuck this one up. And you know me, guys, if I can fuck it up, I will. Ugh, yeah. This game is definitely not for children when you get this far in. It's for adults, for sure. <sighs> okay, okay. 
But then, like I say, Mario kind of has a reputation for that. Oh, you always used to make me laugh when people used to take the piss um, in certain um, instances where, you know, I explain that I play all, all kinds of games, you know, pretty much anything. Ah, son of a bitch. And uh, there's always those people that are like, Oh, you play Mario? Mario's for children. Like, really? All right, motherfucker. Go finish Mario Sunshine. Go get that shit done in a couple of days. Good luck. Because if you haven't played that before, man, that game will kick you in the sacks. Especially some of those later levels. Uh, I believe the Sandbird is a level that always sticks in my brain. Oof. But what made that level kind of less frustrating is uh, the wonderful music. Oh, and it had such amazing beach levels. Absolutely amazing beach levels. Now, luckily we get a baseball here. And we need the baseball. <laughs> or at least some way of throwing stuff. So luckily you do get two chances for success here. Now these guys, these kind of like electric bloopery guys, they're weird. They remind me of those dudes from Zelda. The Choo Choo's. Which you get the gel from. At least they remind me of the lightning ones anyway. Alright. <sighs> Not bad. Not actually too bad. Ooh, well done, Peach. You are collecting stars for the Empire. We like this. The coming empire. We're gonna paint that fucking map red again, aren't we? Now, do I want to do this one? Uh, we probably have time to do, depending on how well it goes, we probably have time to do all of these, to be fair. Now, Piranha Creeper Creek after dark. I freaking love this level, but man, do you have to be on your tippy toes to get this one locked in? So as you can see, it's essentially the same level again, but it's at night. Now, that's fine, but you can see we have all of these um, torches, all these beacons. And we need to light those up. And there's three different areas, and we need to light them up in every area to get the green star. You know, if you don't care about collecting green stars, you don't have to worry about it. But man, if you're going for those green stars, this one can actually be a little bit tricky. But that's fine. That's what we're here to do. Ooh, come on, baby. There we go. Beautiful. Now, this one-eyed purple pecker is going to keep... Well, I don't know if they have one eyes. Probably. He's going to keep bothering us. But that's okay. We can give him a burning sensation keep him out of action. And there we go. The last beacon will get us the star. Yes. Okay. So, on to the second section. And if you're thinking to yourself, gee, hopefully, this is going to get a little bit easier. The game literally spits in your face. This doesn't get any easier, I can assure you. You kind of want to be Peach for this as well, because the ability, her little flutter ability my freaking god is going to save you. Now, you can come up here, but apart from this toad dude, who's actually not a toad, I don't know what these guys are called, um, there's no real reason in coming up here. There is like a extra life on the other side, but it's a pain in the dick to get, to be honest, and it's just not worth it. Because if we lose our power-ups, we're going to have a bad time. That's okay. Just keep an eye on dry bones. Dry bones is going to make things a little bit harder. That's generally what bones do. They get hard. Oh, shit. Yeah, you don't want soft bones. You're going to have a bad time. Alright, fine. Come on, Peach. There we are. Flame on. Come on. There we go. A little bit harder to actually hit these on these revolving... 
kind of like turnstiles. I mean, it's not too bad, but you definitely have to try and like concentrate on about 36,000 things at once, which, you know, is fun. I'm not saying that unironically either, sarcastically, I should say, because it is fun. It's Mario. Of course it's fun. <sighs> right. Ooh, dry bones. Don't ruin things for me, dry bones. It's not going to end well for you. Actually, it probably will end well for you because there's nothing I can do to fix you at this point. Right, how are we doing? I think we're okay. Now, if you're wondering why I didn't... Um, activate the block back there on the last fire twister thing that's because it actually has a fire uh, power up a flower power in it and i'm kind of keeping that in the back burner just in case just in case but luckily it wasn't needed and i didn't grab the star because i'm a bell end but i did show you where it was so it's fine there we go I don't need to worry about time because we're almost there. Last three beacons to light. And there is our star. Wonderbar. Let's get him back up. Gotcha. And hey, we actually got the flag. Nice. Really, really fun level. Absolutely freaking love that one. Oh, actually, we kind of are getting a little bit low on time. Which is unfortunate. Alright, well, it's fine. Now, this one, on the other hand. Oh, God, this one. This one can be rough. This one can be rough. Oh, we haven't actually completed this one. Floating fuzzy time mine. Ugh. Right, let's go hit up this one first. Do we want to be Peach? Let's go with Mario. Right, let's go. Now, this one has an extremely tight time limit, but that's not... I was going to say, that's not the problem, the time limit. But, yeah, actually, of course it's a bloody problem, you moron. So, the rub here is just to... Ooh, shit on a shovel. <clears throat> the rub here is to keep ahead of these fuzzies. These fuzzies catch you, you're dead. Luckily, we just got that green star in the corner there. Oof. Alright. Oh, you son of a... That's fine. That's not fine. <clears throat> just, uh, just gonna restart that one there. Nobody saw nothing. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, Mario. I was expecting more dedication to the Empire, to be honest. Your place is not looking as uh, secure as it once was. Right. I'm trying to remember where all the stars are now. I think I remember where they are. I hope I remember where they are. Oh, shit, son of a... It's fine. It's fine. Didn't want that bloody suit anyway. It's slowing us down. Yes, that'll do. Right, hit this power block. And that, if we can, to get the bell. Yes, yes. Go down. Oh, no. Alright, I don't know how we pulled that one back, but we did. <laughs> and it doesn't matter how we did it, as long as we did it. It's fine. Oh, shit. Need to get that star again as well because we should restarted the level. Now remember what I said, guys, about if we ah oh, doesn't matter if we use that butt bounce makes us invincible. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's fine. I've shown you where that green star is, so. That's easy to get. Right, we'll grab those. And that. Come on, baby. Come on. Ooh. That's actually a really tight timer on that one. Alright, this is not great. There we go. Fine. All sins have been covered. 
Ooh, what's in there? Oh, <laughs> just coins. We don't need coins. Get out of here. Whew. Now, obviously, I have shown you where that green star is, but I will go get it for prosperity. And then we'll finish out the video. Now, there's 380 stars in this game to collect. So, we're kind of almost there. Almost. But we still have a few bits and pieces to get. Right, so there's our star. We got the star. Now we just have to finish this level without getting horribly murdered by those fuzzy things. Now those fuzzy things, you know, the Mario uh, Kingdom is kind of curious, or should I say the Mario Universe really? Because, you know, we're not technically in the Mario Kingdom of oh, the... Uh, damn it. Yeah, that was not going to go well. Neither was that. Son of a bitch. You know what? Smoke him if you got him. The amount of things that are just out to kill us. It's a lot like Australia, really, if you think about it. Mario Kingdom. Mushroom Kingdom, I believe they like to call it. Okay, okay. Ow. Gotta take damage. Unavoidable damage. I mean, that's kind of a lie. Definitely avoidable. Uh, no, no, jump off it. Run up it, you fool! There we go. Alright. Crisis averted. <sighs> right. Uh, you know what? We've already got that start, so... We're going to quit whilst we're ahead. We could actually get that life. Easier said than done, apparently. Come on. Oh, no. No. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. It almost wasn't fine. But we made it fine. And that's all that matters. Whew. A little bit sketch there towards the end. Got a bit sweaty. But objectives achieved. More land for the Empire captured. More souls. So, I'm going to leave this one here, guys. When we come back, we're going to continue through to this one. Faster Fort Fire Bros. Now, Faster Fort Fire Bros is actually kind of a hard one. Um... Well, it's not hard. It's just you have to play it a few times to get uh, to get everything. At least as far as I can remember. No, 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 no. I'm wrong. I remember this one. This one's where you just have to go fast as fuck. Like, seriously fast as fuck. Not quite as fast as that mole level, but pretty fast. So, that's what we're going to do when we come back. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.